Hello, this is Henry again. This is FF Resize. It's a free and open source front end to the command line program FFmpeg. I wanted a free and open source version so I could modify it. And uh, I wanted it to be extendable so that uh, I could easily upgrade it if needed. When writing a front end, this is my second GTK program, so it may not be the best way to write a front end, but I decided to use uh, a naming convention for my widgets where the command line option, the FFmpeg command line option, is the second half of the widget name, and where it appears on the command line is the first half. So the out portion would be the right-hand side of the command, and the left-hand side of the command line would be the in portion. So we have in R, and that sets the rate for FFmpeg um, raw video input. If you start with a raw video, you can change the frame rate of the input and make it think that it's a faster or slower video than it actually is. And that lets you change the speed. Um, if you don't have a raw video, then you can create one by giving it a name, uh, something, you know, dot .raw or whatever. But uh, we're not going to get into that. It does what I need it to do, and uh, that's all I need. This naming convention should make it easily extendable and uh, attractive to new developers and contributors if they want to extend this. It should be easy to do so. Um, just add the new widget and uh, I wrote the program to automatically add the new widgets. Connect signals. GTK Builder connect signals. And get objects. This get objects puts it into the app here and then uh, this connect signals connects all the signals to those widgets dynamically so that you don't need to add each one manually except for drop-down widgets. Now drop-down widgets are implemented using a tree model which is loaded from a file using my function model from file and these names here are actual file names containing the drop-down lists that appear in the drop-down widgets, uh, combo boxes, and uh, stuff that shows up on the form when you start the program. Let's start the program and check it out here. See these drop-down lists? Those are all loaded from file dynamically. And we can actually change those without having to recompile. We've got all these options to choose from and more. If there's an audio codec that is not listed, just type it in. Um, if uh, if you mess up and, 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 and mess these options up too much, just go File New and it resets them to the defaults. If you decide to save new defaults, you can. And it defaults to the default file, which is preferences.ffm. So we can change the global preferences without recompiling. Um, change the uh, title, author, copyright. You can resize the video, change the bit rate, crop the top and bottom, um, change, save it for different targets like uh, video, CD, DVD, or whatever and stuff that would override these options here. We can change the speed of the video, speed it up, slow it down, change the number of CPUs here. I have eight. You might want to change that to like one or something for a normal computer. Um, we can map additional tracks if we want to. You don't normally need to set these though. You can leave those blank if you want. Uh, normally you can drag and drop videos right onto these here. We've got three inputs, one output file. Um, just click on it. Choose a video. Um, and just uh, convert it when choose an output file and then press convert and it'll convert the video 
and that's pretty much all there is to it. I can go into a little detail here on uh, <clears throat> what uh, what kind of programming conventions I used. I've got uh, the enum widgets function here. Let's see, let's collapse all these. <clears throat> this function here enumerates all the widgets and it performs actually four different functions depending on what uh, method that you pass to it. And the methods are stored inside of this struct here. We've got connect, list, command, or save. Um, <clears throat> the first time we invoke the uh, enum widgets function we do it many times and it connects each widget dynamically so that's how um, I have it set up so that when you add new widgets it actually automatically connects signals to them using this function so that we don't have to do that manually um, it knows about whatever widgets are added here we could actually make another page here create a tab dialog or whatever put a whole new page of widgets and I actually plan to do that in some future date um, <clears throat> now this struct can either hold a tree view or a tree model which we will attach to the drop down lists or it can actually hold the command line which we're building here in two parts the in portion which would be on the left side and the out portion which would be on the right side um, <clears throat> and that's how that works um, we pass this structure back and forth as a pointer between our various uh, functions that use it. The first time we load the program we connect all these uh, drop-down boxes here. Um, we've uh, indented all the normal code and then um, our code here is outdented. Um, first time the program loads it loads up uh, the default settings. We can show down, um, we can show information about the program. Now this probably will crash, yep. This program crashes a lot using GTK. Um, <clears throat> the new version of GTK is fixed though, so it no longer crashes. So if it does crash on you, get the latest version of GTK. It'll be stable. Um, I encountered several bugs in GTK while writing this program and they're all fixed in the new version. So, get the development version of GTK. Um, <clears throat> this view menu here lets you view the different video and audio codecs, as well as get a preview of the command line options right here in a handy tree view. Um, I hope that uh, you find it easy to extend, easy to use, and easy to convert videos. And um, you can actually save this as a WAV file to extract the audio track. It'll extract audio um, and uh, you can put the WAV file down here, click map, map, and new audio um, and actually odd or add a, uh, um, any odd audio tracks that you want to add to a video that doesn't have audio. You need to click that. If it's already got audio you can just, you, just map it in over the uh, old audio and uh, in your output video you have the uh, video input mapped and the uh, audio input mapped. You don't need to map it normally if you're just converting a video though. should be fairly straightforward anyway. I hope it is. Um, if you have any questions just read the man page for FFmpeg and uh, remember to save and load your preferences. You can save several different preference files if you want or number them or whatever um, or name them by the uh, size of video that you're using or whatever. It's real handy. And uh, oh, remember to launch this program using the full path name because that's how it uh, determines where the um, widgets are located. All these file names are stored in this uh, res directory here. And uh, so you need to launch it using the full path name or create a batch file to do the launching for you. Alright, um, have fun with it.